So hi, I'm Dr. Clean Davies. And I'm Emma Mount Pess. And what we're all about, we're trying to make complicated blood test results really simple. So, what's what this? Iron studies. Iron so studies. Tell me about iron studies. Okay, so very simply, what we're doing is we're eating iron and we're transferring it into hemoglobin, which is in red blood cells. And that's used for carrying oxygen around the body. And we need the oxygen for like movement and okay. virtually everything we do. So the problem is that just looks really confusing. So let's see if we can make it a bit simple. So these are my test results. Yeah. Okay. So I'm revealing all. All right. Okay. So, so serum iron. This is the amount of iron in your blood. That's my result there, 20, and this is the normal range. So the amount of iron in my blood is right in the middle yep, of the normal, normal range. Yeah. Okay, this part here, transferrin. Transferrin is the buses that carry the iron around the body. Okay, so you can't just have free iron floating around in your blood. It has to be linked to this protein, which is called transferrin. And mine's 2.3 normal 2 to 3.5 so i've got the right amount of buses yeah but this part here transferrin saturation how many seats on the bus are full and 35 percent of okay. the seats on the transferrin bus are full normal 16 to 50 so so that is correct and then it gets transferred into ferritin which are your iron stores yep. stored iron 300, normal 20 to 500, so there's the right amount of stored iron, and eventually it'll get transferred into hemoglobin, which is inside the red blood cells, um, and I've got about the right number of those, so this all looks okay, good. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. That's still quite complicated. Can you make that a little bit more simple? It so happens that Emma and oh. I... So have designed here. a little analogy Even here to see if we can make it um, a little, little bit simply. So I stole some of my mum's um, red food colouring. So we've got some, um, some so red water here. This represents the iron. Okay. Okay. And we're starting here with iron in the diet. So you can get iron from both uh, animal and plant sources. So, yep. so red meat's a really good source of um, iron. But you also get iron in um, vegetables, particularly things like spinach and silver beet. Oh, those dark vegetables. Dark green veggies. Okay. So this is our diet. So we've eaten some iron. And that iron is going to go over here into serum iron. So this is the amount of the iron in the blood. So we've now got some iron in the blood. But it can't float around in the blood like that. It has to be transported on one of these buses. So... We're transporting it onto transferrin. Yep. So we're going to fill this up again because we've eaten some more iron. All right. And then where does it go next? The bus transports it to ferritin. And this is iron stores predominantly in the liver. So there we go. It goes into there. We transport some more from the blood. And we eat a little bit more. I'm making a bit of a mess here. You know, you're going to clean this up afterwards, eh? Well, we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it's now got into the iron stores in the liver, and then it's going to get transferred to the bone marrow, where it gets turned into hemoglobin in the red blood cells. And this process carries on like this. Can I just ask a question? Of course you can. What happens if you don't have enough iron in your diet? That is a fantastic question. Let's answer that in just one second because I'll let's just complete the whole process here. So the red blood cells and eventually after about three months they get old and they come across here to the recycling process, goes into there, ah. and some of that will be recycled and it's okay. gonna go around the whole process. Back again. around. Back around. Yeah, and some of it gets wasted. But the body's really efficient. Most of it gets recycled. So we're going to end up with some in each. Well, I am making a mess. There we go. So that's very similar to my test results up there. We've yes. got normal amounts of serum iron, normal amounts of transferrin, yep. normal amounts of stored iron, 
and normal amounts of hemoglobin yeah. and not very much being that wasted. That makes sense. So yeah. now your excellent question. Yes. What yes. happens if we don't have enough iron in our diet? So the first thing that's going to happen, we're going to get low in serum iron. Yeah, because yeah. it's not. It's not yeah. going through yeah. here. So we'll get low there, but we're still going to have enough of the other thing. So, so the first thing that's going to happen is serum iron will drop. We'll have enough transferrin, we'll have enough ferritin, and yeah. we'll have enough hemoglobin. So then what happens, and this is going to carry on through a little bit through here, eh? What's going to happen next? I hope my glasses don't get too filled up. What's going to happen next is we're going to transfer it into the iron stores and we'll be low in transferrin. So that's the next so thing. So I can that see I what's happening. So just really quickly, so in, so early on you would get deficiencies and the, you'd see this in your blood result. Yeah. Deficiencies here, wouldn't yep. you? Low in serum iron okay, and low in transferrin. Okay. And then eventually we'll keep moving a little yep. bit through because it's got to go that way. Eventually. Well, the next thing that happens is we're going to get low in ferritin. Yeah. And this is the one that we um, commonly see. And yes. I saw one today and it was as low as four. Wow. So I remember that mine up here yeah. is, is 300. I saw one wow. a, a stored iron of four. Very low. Yeah, yeah. And then eventually you're going to get low in hemoglobin. Yeah. And that's called iron deficiency anemia. Okay. Yeah. And by the time you've got low here, you're going to be getting pretty lethargic and yeah. you're going to be probably feeling short of breath as well. Wow. All right. Excuse me. <laughs> so that's that way around. What happens if you have like a big bleed? That's fantastic. Because this is the other way that you can get um, iron deficient. So let's go back to our steady state where everything is normal. We've got normal serum iron. We've got normal transferrin, normal stored iron. Yeah. And normal hemoglobin. So we're still eating, in this scenario, we're eating a normal yeah. amount of iron, eh? Have a bleed, yeah. So we have a big bleed, so we lose a whole lot of blood now. That could happen, so it happens for women who are having very heavy periods, yeah. or it could happen if you had a, some bleeding from the bowel, but you lose a lot of red blood cells. Yeah. But we've still got enough iron stores. So, so your hemoglobin drops straight away? Hemoglobin could drop, okay. you know, really suddenly if you yeah. have a big bleed. Um, so the first thing in this scenario we're going to see is that the ferritin is probably going to drop yeah. the other way around. Yeah? yeah. And that's going to go through to here to replace it. But we're still bleeding. For example, um, a woman having very heavy periods. Yeah. So the next thing that's going to drop is we're going to drop our ferritin then our transferrin, and then this will transfer through like that. That's going to be still bleeding. So Glenn, on like the blood, that. oh sorry. The, like that. Okay, Here we go. go, go, go. So on the blood results, this would be the opposite way around. It would, that would drop? Yes. And then it would? It would, yes. Yeah. And then that, and then yeah. that. Wow, okay. Okay, so let's go through these again now that we've done the analogy. Yeah. Okay, so if your serum iron is low but the rest of these are normal, I would be wondering if you just stop eating iron-containing foods. Yeah. It might be just a matter of eating some more iron-containing foods. Yeah. Now, transfer and saturation is the one that's going to drop. Now, interestingly, I don't want to make it confusing, but the body will produce more buses if you're in a chronic iron deficiency state. So it might go up. So transferrin wow. is the only one that's going to go up. All the rest of these will go down. The most important one to look at is ferritin, stored iron in the liver. Yeah. Because that's really a reflection of a chronic iron deficiency state. If the hemoglobin has dropped but all of these are normal, that's when you would think there's been a bleed. sudden um, yeah. bleed because it takes time for these things to change. Yeah. So I actually think iron's quite complicated, but I hope that we've yeah, made it... Yeah, it does make sense. I hope we've made it a little bit more um, simple, and hopefully people, when they look at their own um, iron results... Will be they, able to understand them. They'll have a better chance of understanding. Thank you, Glenn. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>